Today I am in the city of Samarang, Indonesia. The coating they have on the chicken is it's a bit sweet, it's a bit tangy, it's a bit spicy, but the, the chicken is just so juicy. This is like the pancakes and bananas got married and they had the same toppings because this is mm, this is so good. We are now at this place called Lawang Sewu. Lawang Sewu, which literally translates to Lawang, which is thousands, and Sewu, which is doors. And the reason it's called that is because this whole place was a Dutch headquarters for a railway company. And then when the Japanese came and uh, invaded Indonesia, they occupied this building, and then they held a prison in building B, and a lot of executions also uh, took place there, which is why this place is known as a haunted house. But the history is just astounding. They talk about the Dutch railway system and the importance it had on the history of Indonesia. But this place is just an old historic building. I wouldn't say it's a must see in Samarang, but if you're interested in history, if you like going after ghosts, this is a place you should definitely visit. I was just walking along the street here yeah, and I met him and he gave me this fruit. Uh, what is it called? Hey, jamru. Jamru. Yeah, jamru. Jamru. He said it was this uh, fruit. It just gave me a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna give it a try. Jamru is going to be mad again. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Good. Oh, oh, that's good. Uh, that's like good. Uh, apple and a pear mixed together almost. But oh, that is a good fruit. That is really good. Oh, they almost look like little like chili. Devils, if you look at them, but they're actually really sweet. They're like they're like a cousin of a pear and a guava almost. That's that's really good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. our next stop for food today after walking for quite a bit and this is one of the most quintessential dishes of Samarang. It's called Bandung Presto and it's basically a fish that was pressure cooked and it's a milk fish which has a lot of bones in it but the people decided that if they pressure cooked it the bones would melt so there wouldn't be any bones anymore. So I bought a whole fish, I don't know if I can finish it but we're gonna try our best and taste what Bandung Presto is and I'll give you guys a full review of Bandung Presto. Thank you. Oh. Is this uh, sambal sauce? Sambal sauce, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Our fish has arrived. It is toasty, it is warm. It smells like fried fish. Uh, you can really see that all the bones have just melted into the fish. And I guess the method really works then. But uh, of course what matters is the taste. So let's put some chili on it and then give this a try. I'm gonna be honest, there's nothing really special about it. I, but personally, I don't see any reason why it's that special. I mean, so you can see that the bones have sort of melted into the meat and it does look very crispy. I mean, you poke your fork in and it creates holes. But honestly, I don't think it's that special. Like, you really have to, I have to try it. Um, not really outstanding, uh, but yeah, it, it's just a fried fish. I mean, I don't really think it's that special. We just finished the fish. I'm gonna give a completely honest review here. And if you're a fan of this fish, I'm very sorry about for what I'm about to say. But that fish is really, really bad. I mean, I, I have to say, right? The fish is very, very dry. And I find it difficult to appreciate a fish when it is so dry. And I'm drinking more water 
that I am eating fish. I just, I, I couldn't get it. I, I don't understand it. It was just very, very dry for me, too dry for me. So I didn't actually end up finishing it, which I feel very guilty about. But um, if you do come to Semarang, give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. But personally, I say this one you can definitely skip. I wasn't a fan. If you don't like dry stuff, then I'd say that you can give a pass on this. We are now going to the next food spot. Alright guys, so we've come to this place uh, called Winko Babat Pak Moel and these two ladies are helping me find the best Winko Babat to try. Um, and they have four types. They have a chocolate, original jackfruit and pandan and then I'm going to try them all and then see which ones I like the most and then probably buy those. Jackfruit, I see. It looks almost like a macaroon almost. You look at like a like sort of like a coconut macaroon almost. Uh, jackfruit, right? Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Very fragrant texture, very fragrant. Fragrant texture, but you can taste the coconut inside. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Oh, these are really good. These are like little gum. Almost like gummy. Um, <laughs> uh, gummy bear. But with a little bit of texture. It's not smooth, it's like. Rough gummy bears. Mm hmm. Oh, this is jackfruit, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Can I try the pandan? Yes. And then, uh, I think I know which one I'm gonna buy. The pandan is basically the jackfruit one, but green, as you can probably tell by the color of this. And the wrapper is also green. But. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a nice. Fragrant pineapple flavor. All these are very fragrant. They smell very nice. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's really good. Mmm, I like this. <laughs> very good. Wingo babat. And it's basically like a coconut cake. And it's crispy on the outside, but it's like so gummy on the inside, which I was really not expecting. But um, I really like the flavor. Uh, the texture is very interesting. If you do come here, come to this store. Uh, I, w I was just in there and all these locals all of a sudden popped in and they're all buying Wingo Babat and they're telling me this is the best place to buy Wingo Babat in all of Samarang so if you come to Samarang this is the place to get Wingo Babat it is very very good so definitely worth a visit if you come here <laughs> Basically these uh, fried tofus and they put a little sauce inside. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I know this place is very famous and the line was very long to get this. So I'm going to give this a bit of a try. The flavor of the black sauce very well. Oh, this is really good. Taste it with the chili. Oh, oh, that is perfect. Oh, the heat of the chili with the sweetness of the little black sauce and the sourness of the tofu. That is a really good fried tofu right there. Oh. If you come to Samarang, mm. this is good. This is really good. 
Beta masih kacil Beta ingat tempo itu So mama gendang Gendang beta eh. Sambil mama Makar Mama bernyanyi Jabu-jabu-jabu as I like to call it. This is young coconut ice cream, but apparently it's some of the best ice cream that the city of Sivarang has to offer. So we're gonna give this a try. Oh. Mm. Oh, so it has quite a bit of a uh, chemical sort of taste to it. But the texture of the things they add inside the ice cream are very, very unique. Like they have, they have these like uh, pink little uh, jello things. Um, it, it makes for quite unique mm, ice cream. I can see why it's popular among locals. Mm, but this is definitely a good little uh, cup of ice cream. And they come in these like small little portions, but I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm full, but this is a good way to end the, end the night. Mm. Oh yeah, it's quite sweet, uh, and the texture, like I said, is really nice. And you can tell that these like ice bits, they uh, sort of hammered them out uh, by themselves. So it's, it, it's quite good, quite good. Mm. I'm eating ice cream with them. Say hi. And uh, they have this, uh, what is this? Uh, banana. 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 banana, okay. Uh, banana, opened by Joko Midono's son. Yes. Tai Sam. Tai Sam. Tai Sam. Oh, his name is Tai Sam, okay. And he opened this store. Yeah. And these are just bananas, right? Okay. Banana nuggets. Banana nuggets. Oh, wow. Okay. chocolate on the top. Um, <laughs> almond, exactly. Almonds on the top make a really good um, combination with uh, the flavor of the banana. Oh, this is very good. Oh. Mm. Oh. How much is this? 25,000 for all of this. Yeah. Guys, this is 25,000 rupiah for this whole box. How many pieces? One, two, three, four, five. For 10 pieces. 10 pieces, 25,000 rupees. That's a good deal. That's a really good deal. Wow. Oh man. I cannot. I really cannot. Guys, I am back at the hotel. It has been an amazing food day today. And I think I'm gonna go straight to a food coma, but let's wrap up the day really quickly. Um, a lot of delicious foods, some highs, some lows. Uh, I think I already made very clear which ones I do recommend, which ones I don't really recommend that much. But really, Semarang is a foodie capital. And if you really get the chance, you should definitely come to the city. There are so many delicious foods that you should absolutely try if you get the chance. Um, I'm honored to be in the city to have a chance to try so many delicious foods. I hope you enjoyed uh, these last two uh, food videos. If you did, definitely give them a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and definitely subscribe for more food and travel videos in the uh, coming weeks. Um, anyways, it's going to be the end from Samarang. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys on the next food and travel video. Bye guys!